Sounds great. All right, everybody. Oh, let's get the mic close by here so you guys can hear me. How are you? I hope all is well. Very excited to be with you here. Uh, geopolitics in conflict show. So yep. how are you? I'm I'm actually doing really, yeah. really well. Yeah, I'm not sitting correctly because I feel yeah. I'm out of balance. Yeah. <laughs> I don't it's, know why, but I don't know why. anyway, don't know why. we don't care. You guys can see us and you can hear us. That's what matters the most. So, all right. Very, very excited to be with you guys on this uh, January 30th. You believe the month is over? I uh -huh. First month of the year is over. So we got an exciting topic, guys, to talk to you about. And this one has to do, of course, with the drums of war against Iran are beating loudly and vociferously especially in washington so i'm gonna provide you some analysis to the best of our abilities as far as what we can share here and of course we're gonna be detailing uh, an additional information on a rumble when we get there right after this one here so I'm yes. assuming we do have a link. Absolutely. Let me put that yeah. link up for you guys and I'll keep it yeah. up sort of the entire time. Yeah. We're going to go live immediately after do, this. Do you know what I do? I usually put the links in the chat box. Yeah. So do we, David. So, yeah. <laughs> really? I never paid attention. So but anyway, yes. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be talking about today. And of course, we'll take a question or two from you. Hello, boycott. Good to see you as well. So if you guys, can you please, as you know, no, we always like to know what part of the world you are joining us from. So if you will be kind and just type in where you are joining us from. If this is your first time here to our channel, welcome to our community. Remember to subscribe if you feel like it. If you like the content, we'll be very grateful to have you here. All right. Let me uh, see. Oh, we got only the people here already. So yes. that's kind of, am I late or what? I mean, a couple minutes. Oh. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. <laughs> that's all right. So. All right, guys. So here is what, as I said, this is what we're going to be talking about, uh, addressing this issue of what took place in Al Tenf base. Al Tenf base, as you know, is on the border between Syria and Jordan. A lot of people, and I am sure I'll agree with them too, that is on the Syrian territory more so than it is on the Jordan. Now, there is a reason as to why Washington is. Uh, 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 firmly staying by or uh, holding up to its uh, uh, statements as far as the uh, the attack on the U.S. base took place on Jordan, mm -hmm. Jordan territory. Yeah. Well, yeah. why is that? Why do you think that is, Elizabeth? Well, as so they're playing a very interesting and precarious game right now yeah. because I think the United States knows that war with Iran is not a good idea. And I think it's partially because Iran, unlike many of the other countries, yeah. doesn't necessarily bluff. Yeah, but why Why the U.S. is saying the attacks took place on Jordan, in your opinion? Well, because of that, uh, that territory, I think, is less inflammatory than if they said the other. Okay. It's also it? because it will give justification for the American presence in Jordan than it is in Syria, mm. which means what? Being on Syrian territory, yeah, it's illegal. Well, and I think it's interesting because I think there really there really is a fundamental question about that. Yeah, and that is why are they there at all? I well, think that's yeah, question. that's exactly what are we doing in Syria? Yeah. So, uh, in addition to what term should we use? What is oh. another term for stealing? Uh, uh, taking something that doesn't belong to you permanently, permanently. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is regarding oil yeah. and where that oil goes to. Israel. Yeah. And I think ultimately so. that is the big elephant in the room. Well, yeah, here. it's because first of all, you can take something that doesn't belong to you. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just the right thing to do regard regardless. So why are we taking something that doesn't belong to us? We don't pay for it. Right. And you just hand it over. So I know some of it is used for other bases of the U.S. In the remember, we have some in sure. Iraq, yeah, and of course that presence in Syria and now the tenth and so forth. So it becomes the question of where the U.S. is saying is, oh wait, wait a minute, we're gonna have to cover our butts per se, if I may right. use the term, uh, uh, legally. It's because right. under international law, you are not supposed to be in that country. 
So what are you doing there? Well, and now Iraq is trying to push the U.S. out completely, which is a very, very interesting turn of events. Yeah, they did ask the the Pentagon said mm -hmm. they're gonna sit down and have a conversation. Conversation about what? About what? Yeah, Absolutely. if we don't want Absolutely. you here, we don't want you here. End of story. Yeah. You still maintain diplomatic ties, right? But for the presence of the military, look at Japan, look at South Korea, mm -hmm. look at Australia. Look at Germany. So, yes, we do have some sort of an agreement, but come on, 30,000 plus? Right. That's not an agreement. That's taking over a country, right. in my opinion. So this is where the issue, why the U.S. is saying, oh, it took place on the Jordanian territory. Yes. There is another also concern in Jordan that the government in Amman mm -hmm. came up so quick and said, no, 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 no. This didn't take place yeah. in Jordan. <laughs> Their concern has nothing to do with the welfare or security of the U.S. Yeah. Their concern has to do with the public uprising mm -hmm. because Jordanians are already pissed at the monarchy mm -hmm. for not doing anything to the uh, for for the Palestinians. Yeah. So the monarchy doesn't care about Palestinians. I've always said this. I don't shy away from it. Yeah. Uh, and also. That will be a great concern to the Jordanians that they're going to realize, oh, American soldiers, American troops are on our soil. Yeah. Because that's been arranged. As when I worked in Washington, I'm still aware of some very sensitive stuff that's going on between Jordan and the U.S. Yeah. Uh, I'm just not at liberty to talk about this because I'm still bound by the law. Of course. Even though I'm not in D.C., but uh, still. And now the Jordanian people is going to find out what are Americans doing in the base over mm -hmm. if it is on our territory? That's no, why that's the Jordanian government yeah. went ahead so fast and said, it's not on our soil. Yeah. That puts the U.S. on an awkward position. If you are not on, a, uh, on, on the Jordanian territory, which mm -hmm. is a country that we do have diplomatic ties and so forth, yeah. then why are you doing with a country that we don't have ties with, diplomatic one? Yeah. And second, you have never been invited and third, what are you doing there? No, that's a great question. Yeah. And interestingly enough, in the conversation of all this, so um, so I want to back up really quickly. And I a lot of this blew up because for sort of the first time in this, con well, sort of the first time in this conflict, U.S. troops were killed. And uh, that is, um, and, and the administration has handled that extremely poorly. I'm going to yeah. show a video a little bit later. David, I think you are going to lose your mind watching this video. Uh, if it's coming um, from DC, I already lost my mind. Well, it's Karine Jean Pierre. <laughs> she is talking oh, about. Oh, oh my gosh! Huh. I'll show you. I'll show you guys this video. It yeah. is. You yeah, know, if you the... guys wonder what the administration really thinks about our people, about the troops here, because I know a lot of you guys are not from the United States. Yeah. And uh, so, if you ever wondered what the U.S. Yeah. feels about our people, you got you got it right right here in this video. Um, but for the first time, we're actually seeing uh, American troops. And I think it's very interesting, this location, David, because for... it is it is a big question that the U.S. really hasn't answered. And that is what are they doing in this particular location? Yeah. What are they actually doing there? So what is your best guess? Because I also have I also have a theory on what they're doing there. And it has to do with what is rich in that region. But what is your take on what they're actually doing out there? Well, usually when you have a forward, what we call them a FOB, a forward mm -hmm. base, uh, usually when you have that, that's for uh, maintaining the strategic presence. That's one. And second, you will be acting on behalf of another entity, in this case, on behalf of Israel. Yep. And third one, that serves as a surveillance. Mm -hmm. That's usually where it is. But of course, the... The, the the natural resources and all that stuff is always the reason. Yeah. That's always the case, and especially in that part of the world. Mm -hmm. So we all know how the Middle East is. So I have a couple of questions yeah. about this attack in general, right? And this is a question sort of to everybody. Um, and I would like Yeah. Come here, buddy. That's my that's my dog. <laughs> he's leaving, he's leaving the studio. Um so he didn't want to go. <laughs> he didn't want to go. <laughs> They're holding him up there. Um, yeah. So here are my questions about yeah. this. Okay. So first of all, the so you know the there were air the the missile air defense system or the drone air defense system uh -huh. failed. 
So uh -huh. it was supposed to shoot it down, not get it over the troops. It failed. Yeah. Okay. And the reasoning why it failed was particularly interesting. Apparently, another U.S. drone was coming in at the same time, time yeah. and so there was confusion as to, mm. to whose it was. Is this friendly? Is this not friendly? Yeah. I. You know. It tells you the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. Isn't that yeah. kind of crazy? Yeah. Well, actually, to think about this, literally, putting my geopolitical analyst hat on, mm -hmm. we'll think about it in terms of, is this was a setup? That is and a if it is a setup, question. if it is set up, by whom? Right. And that's really the question that yeah. I'm getting at. So there are yeah. a couple of big things here, one of which is the, uh, is the reaction um, from some of the Republican senators. Would you like to hear some yeah, sure. quotes? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. as, as if it's not a big deal, as if this just isn't a big Sacrificing deal. Sacrificing the American the troops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it does. They don't idiot. care because it's not their kids that they have been uh, uh, over there. They don't that's, care. That's a huge, that's a huge point care. and that's a huge fact. Yeah. Because, uh, okay, anyway. So let's, would you let's, like to hear? Yeah, yeah. let's, and, let's and, show a video. For okay. That. So uh, this is actually a quote. So this is from Republican Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas. Oh, that guy. Um, oh, my God. We have yeah, Lindsey his, Graham here. Yeah, those are we all... have Texas uh, Senator John Cornyn, which I am, I'm very embarrassed being in Texas. Yeah, Cornyn is, is kind of, yeah. Okay. Uh, Republican Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas. The only answer to these attacks must be a devastating military retaliation against Iran's T, I can't say this word on yeah. YouTube, forces both in Iran and across the Middle East. Anything less will confirm Joe Biden as a coward, unworthy of being commander in chief. <laughs> that tells you right there. The whole setup was, oh. was as a bait for Iran. Iran's yeah. not going to buy this. Yeah. The U.S. is not going to do a squat about it. Yeah. They sacrificed the three soldiers and the other ones. Yeah, it's a life, no matter how you look at it. I know some said, well, they deserve it. Whatever. It's beside that. Oh, yeah, we know. don't think like in those terms. Yeah. But the idea I have to think about it as to why uh, uh, this is why Biden uh, uh, dug a hole for himself now. He's not coming out of that mm -hmm. on two fronts. One of them is now he's being perceived as one who is put in u.s military in harm's way yeah and second he attached himself to israel in a way of the you all know what's yeah. been committed yeah, yeah. for what the, what the icg yes. has been called so it's 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 on both directions mm -hmm. he, he dug himself in a hole Absolutely. dragging us with him because yeah. for for the administration to say probably they're thinking in terms of well, how we can get Iran to react? Oh Let's God. just sacrifice some of our own. Mm. Oh. You know, this is the thinking. And I tell you, as one who works in DC, yeah. I won't be surprised. Would you like to listen to Karina sure. Jean-Pierre? Uh, this to me, yeah, I, there is massive <laughs> outrage for this. Okay, guys. So just so you're aware, there's massive outrage because this was unbelievable. All right, let's listen in. What I will say, our deepest, uh, obviously our deepest condolences uh, go out and our heartfelt condolences go out to the families uh, who lost uh, three, three brave, uh, three brave, uh, three brave of uh, three folks who are who are military folks who are brave who are always fighting who are fighting on behalf and of uh, this administration of the American people, obviously more so more important. No, on behalf of the administration. administration, did you guys hear that? Yeah. On and uh, of the American people more so, not just the administration, but the American people yeah. more so. Yeah. What? Importantly, uh, uh, we it's... lost those souls. What I will say. What did we yeah, just it's, watch? It's, she's clueless. She's clueless. I, I think they are now being exposed. The administration being exposed that mm -hmm. well, let's sacrifice those. This is why you have the likes of Cotton and. And the uh, the, the, Graham, the incompetent they're Graham. all incompetent by the way oh my but gosh. there is there is a justification behind the scenes mm -hmm. as to why the drum beats of war with Iran is kind of now yeah. beating very loudly this it's because the, the neocons wanted to have a war. this is a wish to have Iran is smart enough Iran mm -hmm. is strategic enough to know it will be a bait. This is no different mm -hmm. than what we've been doing last summer in Taiwan yeah. regarding the type of weapons we've been in. Yeah. It's nothing but to push 
the 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 provocation to the point that we, we were hoping yeah so yeah some in washington we're hoping that china will react to that china is not going to react that way the same thing iran's going to do yeah. iran's not going to react that way but what this exemplified or sort of opened the door for is that now the u.s yeah. bases are legitimate targets now. yeah and all this by the way the entity that claimed this uh, attack, which was from Iraq, mm -hmm. claimed it for one reason. Yeah. The support of the U.S. of Israel. Yeah. Because we all know what we're doing. All of these things are happening because, because. of the U.S. support of Israel. I yeah. mean, flat out. Yeah. They're not hiding it. It is very well said. So yeah. if these things, if they want these things to stop happening, there is one thing that needs to be that done. That needs to be done. And, and Biden is not willing to do that. As a matter of fact, they just allocated now $14 billion for Israel. Okay, so this is one of the things we're going to talk about next on Rumble because... On um, detail, yes. Yeah, make sure you guys join us on Rumble because there is another issue that's going on right here for us down yeah. south of our state. And this is going to lead to something very, the way I see it, rolling. Yeah. So make sure you join us on Rumble right after this one here. So for now, we're just going to keep the conversation. You all know how it is. We don't need to be the dead horse here. But one thing I want you guys to understand, looking at this under the lenses of uh, 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 international relations, mm -hmm. looking at this, you have now that fight between liberalism and realism, both of them yeah. fighting each other to see which one's going to push for. Well, realism, as you know, the ones that is advocating for strong military presence and so forth. And now you find that, you find finding out that the Biden administration mm -hmm. is as weak as it can get. And this is a justification for now pushing that narrative for it to take action. So interestingly enough that you said that, because yeah. right now, apparently the Biden administration has made a decision, right? So, yeah. so I think it's um, CNN. Let me see if I can find C yeah. CNN. Yeah. Um, let's see. That would be just a right window right dressing, no matter what they do. Right. But they have to pretend that they're that being they are. strong about it. They have yeah. to pretend that they're doing something about yeah. it. Um, and there was actually a, a, a little interview um, uh, from Biden. This was on MSNBC. And it's interesting watching him because he really looks uh, he, he looks like he's very much struggling. Do you want to listen to yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Um, Will I understand what he's saying? It's, it's actually challenging. It's actually a little bit challenging to understand yeah. what he's saying, but you know, hopefully you guys will be able to do that. Um, let's see. Let me play it here. You guys might have to turn your volume up a little bit. He's a little hard to hear. Minutes ago, President Biden spoke outside about the response to the deadly drone attack on U.S. troops. Let's listen. I do hold response, responsible in the sense of supplying the weapons to the people who did it. He's uh, really quick. He's talking about holding Iran responsible yeah. for for providing weapons to the people who did this. That's what he said. In case you guys can't hear it. Well, we'll have that discussion. We'll see. I don't think we need a wider war in the Middle East. That's not what I'm looking for. Minutes ago, President Biden spoke. Yeah. All right. So that's yeah. at least what he says he's not looking for. It, I don't know. You guys no. let us know whether you believe that yeah, or not. No. Yeah. It doesn't look, doesn't bode well for him. Yeah. For very bad for the Democrats to begin with because of the upcoming presidential elections. Absolutely. Let alone now his decision regarding what we're going to be talking about on a rumble. That's mm -hmm. why we'll detail that. For now, let's just focus on what's taking place in that part and whether Iran's going to take the bait or not. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Iran understands the dynamics of how uh, the, the, uh, the Washington establishment operates. Remember, they've been sanctioned for over 38 years, going into mm -hmm. force since 1979. And they still stand in the, their ground because we haven't accomplished anything with the sanctions except hurting the people. Mm -hmm. Of course, the justification, well, they are this and they are that, whatever, whatever the argument is, the fact uh, remains is that the country around in this case still standing. That's just simple as that. So for them to take the bait like this, they're not going to take because mm -hmm. they understand also, they around in this case, understand the ramification of a wider 
uh, conflicts in the region. Of course, the U.S. is going to have now to pull in its so-called allies in the region. Well, who are they? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Who are they? Even those that are allies per se, you take, for example, Bahrain. What does Bahrain has to contribute to anything? And can you imagine them stepping out? No, they won't. I can't they even can't imagine them stepping they can't. in. They don't have the the they don't have the uh, the capabilities mm -hmm. to do that. Qatar? No, Qatar ain't gonna move an inch. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia is gonna say, Yeah, we support, but it's not our war. You guys you guys uh, get involved. And the the last thing that I'm going to be thinking about is the idea of even those allies. They're going to have to think twice. Why is this? Is because Iran's missiles. Iran has three categories. Every country has three categories. When I say countries that develop this kind of technologies, as far as missiles, you have a short, medium, and long range. Mm -hmm. Right. Iran does have a long range. As a matter of fact, over 1,200 kilometers. Based on my last research that I looked into, back then when I was doing the research for the book, it was about 870 or 850 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Now they advanced it to 1,200. Yeah. Why? Why do I? Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because those countries who might be thinking twice about joining the U.S. in this yeah. so-called coalition, they're gonna become a target yeah. because every missile from Iran can reach within that. Mm -hmm. Second thing, this whole attack. This a whole attack on the US, yeah. on the US soldiers. That's also another message. Yeah. What is the message? The message is how precise yeah. the weapons that target that, that drone is the precision. Right. That is the message. Well, here. and did they know were they paying attention to the other? Because you know, we're going off of what the what they said, the reason was yeah, yeah. that the attack yeah. was able to happen, right? Yeah. Because the the anti-air, the anti-air defense system should have gone off. Gone it off. should have protected the people in that base. Yeah. Why didn't it? So the the reason that we're getting, right? The reason that we're getting is because there's another drone coming in and they didn't know whether it was a friendly or not, and they yeah. didn't know. Okay. So did they also know? Did they time that? Did they no. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're unlikely. Unlikely. I remember one time I was in Iraq and, and I was walking uh, uh, to my quarters and, and all of a mm -hmm. sudden I heard the, the siren because that was the sign that yeah, yeah. there's incoming. You know, of course, they had the early warning at that time. That was mm -hmm. way, way, way back and a kind of, you know, you know the protocol, what to do and so forth. Yeah. In this case, it was different. And to me, that's the message that is sent, is how precise, mm -hmm. you know, if you only know certain bases, forward bases, like a 10th, yeah. 10th is way in nowhere, in nowhere. You got a cell tower that can receive and send communications there mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So, but it tells you, it shows you how the drone had to travel. Mm -hmm. That means what? An expression of the capabilities. Yeah. That's to me what it signifies. Yeah. To me, that's the message that is, we will reach you, yeah. U.S. bases, we will reach you no matter where you are at in the mm -hmm. region. That's the message that I'm seeing. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting out of this. As to the bait for Iran, uh, Iran's not going to buy it. Mm -hmm. Of course, that will be a wish and dream of the neocons yeah. to have the war from Israel. Then comes the key question. Yeah. Who's the beneficial of all this. absolutely and what we're who's the beneficial of this yeah, guys yeah 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 type guys, in, in the in, chat get box. in on this not to uh, i just want to want you to be part of the conversation i'm so, sure you already know the answer but. i'm gonna add to this because yeah. right now a lot of u.s major media is actually pushing for that so let me show you guys a little bit from um so like bloomberg for example so bloomberg writes uh, U.S. President Joe Biden faces intensifying pressure to confront Iran directly after the country's proxies killed mm -hmm. three American soldiers in a drone strike in Jordan over the weekend, risking precisely the wider regional conflict that he's trying to avoid. Um, we have, let's see, what else? We have uh, CBS reporting that a decision has been made. Mm -hmm. Um Biden tells reporters that he's decided on how to respond to the attack, killing U.S. troops in Jordan. Sky News writes that there is a moment of no return approaching as Biden weighs retaliation yeah. for soldiers' yeah. deaths. That's just, that just to pave the right? narrative. Exactly. It's all about. That's why we always say, guys, in this channel here, 
You always got, this is the reason why we do mm -hmm. what we do. Because we don't want you fall prey to what is being yeah. narrated or propagated by the mainstream media. That is the whole idea. So the way what you just shared yeah. is paving the narrative. So the average people start to hear. Right. That's, that's start all to that hear. is. Yeah. And what I wonder about this is, so one of the interesting theories is yeah. basically that um, that this could sort of make the the conflict in the Middle East that we have been concerned about. And we I think we've all been concerned about that happening. Of course. But it's very clear that, and, and I think this is the first time in history that we've actually heard from the other side yeah. and, and thought, okay, well, maybe they have a really good point. So the yeah. other side is saying, we want you guys to stop Gaza. Straight up. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Okay. Now yeah. they're going about it in a way I absolutely don't condone. Yeah. But that's that is what they're saying. It's hard for us to come back and on this side be like, well, you know, they don't have a point because globally, I think the world thinks they do have a point right now. Yeah, they do. The whole world is, is seeing what's going on. This is why we have been we dug our own graveyard per se. Because let's say a uh, hundred years from today. You know, we won't be doing the show, of course. I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I don't want to be here. Yeah. So I don't want to extend my stay. Well, you don't know. It might be wonderful. I, I no, 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 no. I'll challenge you on this. I don't want to be longer than I have to be. Sure. If I am not contributing to the welfare of humanity, mm -hmm. then time for me to check out. Straightforward. Sure. But I'm saying what I think on the other end of a big collapse is a rebirth. And I do that is true. have a lot of hope. That and, is true. You know, we we talk about the, the bad stuff and the doom and gloom, but you know, there are a lot there's you guys. Well, there's it is, it is. I'm sure they are young, they're younger than me. So that means they can <laughs> hold up the, the fourth here moving forward with the conversation. But I do have a lot of hope for humanity. But who knows? Maybe one of them might end up having a channel that deals with geopolitics. Yeah. Why not? You guys learned enough by now. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating it or making you feel good. I don't do that kind of stuff. So, uh, on, on a serious note is now I forgot what I was going to say. We were going into the, they're dripping on the American people to sort of like, is yeah, this, the narrative, is this the next, the, the narrative is paving it that right. way because they wanted to soften, to soften the blow as far as the, the failure of the foreign policies that have been implemented by this administration mm -hmm. or even the one before it or even the one before that u.s administrations for the last four years no cohesiveness when it comes down to foreign policy no strategy whatsoever this is what you've seen what you've seen and and to go back to my question as to who's the most beneficiary of this oh, you guys got here. it Wong kc you got it alam seen you got it is is mick and Israel, but the key to all this is Israel. Why? Is yeah. because should that happen? Because Israel also has a wish for the US to attack Iran, not Israel itself. Israel cannot and will not, Mike, my word on this, won't be able to anyway. So to Israel, it will make more sense. Israeli government, that is. It will make perfect sense that now the US is direct into this, yeah. which means what? It's already became our own war. Interestingly enough, do you remember when Blinken said, "Yeah, that guy is, is wants, incompetent." Wants us back. Yeah. So when it everybody. becomes that way, it yeah. becomes the question of, uh, "Oh, okay, another conflict in the region. Haven't we had right. enough?" Right. And that's the ultimate question. Yeah. How many conflicts can we have at once? No. We have Ukraine that's still going on. We have now Israel that we are a big part of, whether the Biden administration mm. wants to acknowledge it or not. I think globally that's very well known. Yeah. And now what are we going to do? Can we do three? No, we can. And then we have Taiwan and China. No. How yeah, many we conflicts can. can the U.S. Well, face while still I, being in yeah. more or less shambles here? Actually, the U.S. cannot fight. Yeah, the U.S. cannot fight two front wars. Well, actually, we, we right are not now we got four on the docket, David. Well, let's we say just two. two. Let's just two. We got two on the docket. They won't How be many able can to. We do? Yeah. Remind me when we get on a rumble. Mm -hmm. Just remind me about Ukraine. I have okay. some okay, specific okay. information. Okay. I can say it here yeah, yeah. while I'm thinking about it. Just so remind me because okay. I want to share it with them. Interesting how now Ukraine is becoming now a testing ground. Yeah, I'll share this yeah, over there. When that's we get important. There. It's so, important. but here is the point, just to, for you to understand the geopolitical dynamics of all this. Why mm -hmm. those movies? 
those are the moving pieces in a geopolitical chessboard. Yeah. Don't think about it just, oh, they're just doing this or they do it. No, 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 no. Those are movements that are calculated. Think about it. Just think about it. When Russia received an HI delegation that went to Moscow. Oh, yeah. I have another thing to say yeah. on Rumble that is. We will talk about I this. One. Thought, I was like, that is. Yeah. Okay. Go but ahead, it's just ahead. my it's point. My Rumble. point is the idea of those are moving strategically, mm -hmm. you know. And for us, we are just reacting. We are not moving strategically. Yeah. We are reacting. And that's how our foreign policy has always been. This is why when the US reached out to China, asking China for help, China said, it ain't our oh, issue you yeah. deal with it why because china understand strategically does not make sense to it yeah you create you the us in this case created the problem yeah. you deal with it well and one of the interesting things is as the as iraq is having the us leave is basically like leave we want your troops out okay? yeah as they're doing that who did they bring in not troop wise but economically they brought china in china yeah they build it five they build it. cities yeah. I was just really having a conversation around. today with someone uh, uh, who knows someone here mm -hmm. that now uh, in Iraq dealing with some negotiations regarding yeah. oil industry because the Europeans want oil from Iraq. Yeah. So that is the whole reason for also why this dynamics go in and there, whatever. But the bottom line to all this is that the idea that the U.S. troops being attacked, which signifies now the escalation is going to go up one step at a time yeah that also the message of the idea uh, that we can reach you anywhere uh, yeah. and 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 they are in specific locations you think about it we have about uh, to my knowledge and, and guys correct me if i'm wrong uh, to my knowledge the last number that i had in mind was about 68 we have a 68 basis in just that vicinity yeah in that vicinity. around that area yeah Why? 68 do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's not. Why that's, yeah. do we have those? 68. So, I like surveillance? Do we need 68 for surveillance? Is that? Uh, what we have them have? for other stuff. Now, the one thing about certain locations like this, yeah, uh, uh, this will not be open to the locals. In other words, yeah. Yeah, even yeah. you might have locals working on a base, whatever, uh, even the high ranking of their countries, yeah. they won't be able to. The oh, reason yeah, being course. because the nature of the weapons. Because that's like what exactly is going to be happening for Australia now. Yeah. Remember with that deal of the submarine nuclear, yeah. the Virginia oh, yeah. class? Yeah. Uh, Virginia class is going to be operated by Americans, yeah. not Aussies. Not Aussies. Aussies is going to be in the back, back, back door, mm -hmm. per se. Same setup we have in... Uh, uh, Pine Gap, yeah. Pine Gap, and I did mention this before. There is one section inside Bi uh, Pine Gap, yeah, of limit for Aussies, yeah, only Americans. Well, so I will say this, and I'm, pro I'm probably going to get a lot of a lot of comments in the in the in the in the comment bar. But the U.S. also has a right to protect itself. What it doesn't necessarily have a right to do yeah. is overreach. And I think because you know we. Well, I hold on, sir. I'm gonna. I'll be the first one to I push know, against you. I, I, yeah, I won't hold I back. I won't hold back. But, but I have a right to protect from what? Right. So no. Did is, anybody came over and invade us here? Well, okay. So the answer is not invade, but at the same time, the U.S. had some very bad domestic policies as well. We created yeah, that. We absolutely created so. that. So I'm not saying that we did not create that. However, at this moment. The United States yeah. is in a position where a lot of people hate it. Well, yeah, a because of, of what we it. have done so far. I agree. I, I agree. mean, and it guys, just don't at me in the comments. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's I just agree. the idea. No, I see your point. I see your point. It's but just the, the U.S. is in a precarious position right well, now. Well, we created that ourselves, so we I shouldn't know. be blaming. That's like when you have a you you you, you know you you kind of create an issue yeah. but you blame it on someone else well wait a minute right look right. inward first and see where the issue came from how did we get here to begin with absolutely so your point as far as we have our own interest yes we do every country on earth has and its that own interest to me is okay that's the part that's okay the part that's not okay yeah. is why the u.s has to protect itself to that extent because it well, it's because that's how those problems. It's the dominance. We yes. wanted to maintain 
our dominance in a world that is changing whether we like it or not. And it's changing not to our liking. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we are now in a multipolar setting. Yeah. You know, those in Washington who are saying, oh, no, there is nothing wrong with the global order. No, it is. No, there is. It is. It is. It's no more. Right. The earth is no longer the sole property of a sole superpower. That era right. is gone. We might as well just come to grip with this reality. What's, I hope it's permanently gone. I well, hope that it well, becomes it, multipolar. It, it, yeah, it won't go back to what it was. Yeah. That that's guaranteed. Not for the U.S., but the U.S. isn't the first empire, right? We've had sort of Western hegemons for a long time. You look at the U.K. The UK how it ends up. So was before the U.S. But the idea of that. Uh, no, I forgot. I get interrupted. <laughs> I kind of lost my thoughts. So. Well, we also got very heated just now. But guys, I understand the U.S. caused its own problems. Don't give me those in the comments. Some people in the comments were like, well, Elizabeth thinks that Taiwan is whatever. No, guys, I very much understand that the president that was put in place was well, yeah, we used, to we be used, pro -American We used the term China. president. That, we right? used the term president. He's not a president. Right. He's he's a puppet governor, the equivalent Definitely, of governor. Definitely, but I have to say something. I know, I know, I know. Because in the Western audience, <laughs> yeah, that's how they understand the connotations. Right. That is the reason for it. That's it's not. what is told, is said here, is pre right? So yeah. you have to call it something, but I definitely yeah. understand. Yeah, well, he, he ain't a president. Yeah, president of what? Mess. Taiwan? Taiwan is not a sovereign state. Right. Taiwan is part of China. End of story for it. I mean, when you have the, the how international law recognize that Taiwan is part of China, yeah, in the West, they're going to be calling the guy, the Che T, whatever his name was, yeah. they're going to call him president. You and I know okay. there is no such thing as president. You know, he is a governor, the equivalency of governor. But that's that's their conversation for. Right. Let me go back to my point before I forget about the demise. <laughs> yeah, because I forget. We got really heated. <laughs> no, it's, uh, and it's not about coffee. Is I slept long enough. Oh, yes. Because I go to bed at 2100 hours. What is 2100 hours? Okay, hold on. That's uh, nine? PM. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. So 2100 hours. And I slept through time. till about 0630. Hi, buddy. 0630. So that's 630. I know that. 0, one. Okay, so, I know that. One. So anyway, uh, on a serious note. So the demise of the, of the for us is that we are seeing this grip of the. I think he wants to go out. Well, he's, he's stuck can anybody him. open the door from the other side, please? I'll send, I'll send one of our producers. The yeah, there we go. Uh, so the idea of, uh, of 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 the demise, we are seeing the demise that we are not willing. We don't want to let go. Well, you can't not let go when things are going the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. You look at, for example, Global South. All of it is moving into a different direction regarding trade and finance. You look at, for example, how Europe is going down economically to the point now that what do we do? Mm -hmm. So you look at, for us Americans, where the debt is going to the oh point that oh we can't, this it's can't terrible. sustain itself. Mm -hmm. And all these dynamics is taking place while the world is, while the U.S. saying, oh, no, we're still the hegemon. Yeah, you're still to a degree. You have the dollar. You have whatever, whatever. You have yeah. the weapon. But that's not going to cut it. Right. It's because people's going to be looking for economic prosperity, not conflict. Right. That's the bottom line to it. And this is the reason why Yeah. I think... And that I think the outcome of all this is our own making. Let's yeah. just own up to it. Yeah. So I, I disagree with those politicians. I, I don't even recognize them as politicians. Those are mm -hmm. those are whatever idiots. Uh, when uh, it it's it's very what's the word I'm looking for? It makes more sense when you own up to your either mistake or Agreed. whatever. You own up to whatever. Yeah. You say, hey, I made the mistake. Yeah. I'm going to fix it. Yeah. Washington is not willing to even admit right. it has been making mistakes regarding home policy decisions. Yeah. And this is why we always say, you know, how geopolitics trickles down yeah. to average Joe, average Jane. Average Joe, average Jane here in America is worrying about food, about because things are getting in a different direction. Hugely. So, yeah. yeah. And for this change on the global stage, as to the multipolarity that's now, it's in effect, whether we want to accept it, whether we want to admit it, whether we like it, is irrelevant. Yeah. The world is moving on. And it's only going to get harder 
if we don't act yeah. and act by fixing, by fixing yeah. starting fixing yeah. the matter. Absolutely. I, I'm a believer that phone policy yeah. starts at home. Absolutely. Absolutely. The and, I and I think that one of the biggest problems that we have had as a country is that our politicians are actually not allowed to mess up. Now, granted, they should be held to a higher standard. Yes. Yeah. But if a politician came out and said, I did something wrong, they'd be voted out of office instantly. The problem is humanity screws up sometimes and you need to be able to go in and fix it. Yeah. But here we have this like weird sense of like, you have to be perfect. Yeah. And Please hear me. Leaders must be held to a higher standard, but you must allow the space to go in and fix these things. Yes, we screwed up. Let's fix it. Let's leave those areas and say, you know what? We screwed up. We're going to number one, stop screwing up, not yeah. screw up anymore. We're going to stop what we're doing yeah. Yeah. and well, then talk to the people and see what reparations could possibly be made. Of course, it will never it will never account for the the negative that's been done, but you must at least stop yeah. the harm. You must stop it first and then see what reparations can be done. Yeah, but this one is also tied to the system itself. The oh, system absolutely. is corrupted. The system is 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 inherently mm -hmm. uh, uh, a lot of Americans do not know that since the start of America, you know, the founding fathers. Yeah, we respect all that, but. Uh, don't, don't fall for the trap of what they're saying. Founding fathers were thinking about their own interests. They were. There is no if and buts. You know, yeah. you give them the proper respect, or whatever. But hey, man, you're gonna have to be straightforward with this. Yeah. They were the elite of the society. They the were? bankers, the the farmers, the landowners. Yeah. So they were controlling the process to the point that any senator, did you know that back at the beginning of American history? Mm -hmm. Any senator will have to be picked by yeah. the elite. Right. So it's kind of right. the system has been fundamentally. You look at it. You look at it just now for the taxes, for example. Mm -hmm. Look at the tax brackets that you and I would pay. Look at the tax brackets that the millionaires pay. Right. So the system in itself is inherently flawed. Right. So what you end up having to do, it's like I always give the analogy of a house. Mm -hmm. You have a big house. And it shows a lot of cracks in it. What do you do? You restore it first. Right. Then the cracks keep going. What do you do after you that? Tear it down. You have to tear yeah. it down and rebuild it. Yeah. That's where we are. Well, and interestingly enough, because even if you were saying we must follow the Constitution, the Constitution is phenomenal. We must follow it. Uh -huh. That's not even what's happening. So it's not like it's not like that document is being followed to the no, letter, no, no, right? no, 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 no. It's not. Now, now the document is nothing but a but a as I say, consumption of ink. Yeah. The, the Constitution is nothing but a consumption of ink. Well, because people yeah. aren't following yeah. it. I'll give you so, just one quick example. Did you know that in the, I believe, the Fourth Amendment mm -hmm. or so, that we do have the right to hold the government accountable to the point that even taxes themselves were not legally bound by American citizens to pay taxes? Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Right? That's not our reality. <laughs> exactly. That's my point. That's not my our point. Reality. Is the fundamentally, fundamentally, the system is flawed. Yeah. And when you see the foreign policy decisions made on the whim of a reaction, right. it gives you an idea. We don't know what we're doing. We're just reacting to events. And that, to tie it back to our conversation about Iran in this case, you know, the, the push for a war with Iran. And by the way, Iran is not Iraq. Yes. I spent time in Iraq. Mm -hmm. I was closer in up north in Kurdistan overlooking the, the mountains in Iran. But in my own research, what I found is that a conflict with Iran, mm -hmm. it will be very devastating. Oh my God. Not just to them, yeah. it will be to us. Yeah. And 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 given I'm not saying we should be scared. The thing is, we do not know. This is the reason. And again, I could be wrong. This is my own opinion. This is the reason why we never dare to attack Iran because we don't know what they have. The same arguments can be made about North Korea. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. North Korea, absolutely. because at least we know what they have. Mm -hmm. But in North Korea's case, we know that they ain't going to be bluffing. Yeah. The moment we attack them, the moment they're going to unleash whatever they have 
obliterates the U.S. troops over there, over yeah. 30,000. You do not want to. Then you start having the ICBMs, you know the rest, yeah. how it is. So this is why in North Korea's case mm -hmm. versus in Iran's case. Yeah. In Iran's case, we do not know what yeah. they have. In North Korea, we know. And we're not willing to risk it. What? This is how I see it. And cooler heads have to prevail here. They have to. I know. It, it's I know not from the, here. Right. It's not from here. That is the whole issue. Yeah. The whole thing is not from here 100%. Mm -hmm. There is percentage contributed to it from here. The issue is in Tel Aviv. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like it's it's got to stop. I can't I can't actually imagine why it didn't. Like this seems like absolute, absolute insanity. Yeah, it, it is just because, as I say, it will be devastating. Yeah. And I don't see, first of all, I don't see the U.S. reacting. Now sacrifice those three soldiers, you know, uh, what they're going to do? They're not going to, you know, you get the president signing a letter, send it to the families, whatever. So what? Yeah. You know, a, a president that is he himself ought to be held accountable for some other stuff that for we'll sure, talk about sure. later on. Rumble. But, yeah. We're going to be on Rumble because, immediately after Because this. we got a lot to say about yeah. what he's doing right here in our border so and second thing is the idea of uh Iran also is not gonna take the bait mm -hmm. Iran uh, understands sure how the game is yeah. played they are they shrewd you mm -hmm. will think they sit in their turban whatever mm -hmm. they're very shrewd very 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 calculating yeah. why because they've been through a hard time before yeah ask any Americans of us have we ever been in a war a major war so there's None. you know the um I think it's the the fourth turning guys. What is it? Yeah. Uh, heart. Oh, guys, put it in the put it in the chat if you have it. But it's like um, hard times make strong men. men. Strong men make good times. Um, good times make weak men. Weak men make bad times. And then bad oh, times I see make strong men. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But I think it's I think it's absolutely true. Yeah. And you know we have a conversation here in the U.S. right now about like Texas seceding, Texas like leaving. Maybe uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a big place we live here. I would like for there to not be like civil war. I'm in favor. You are? Are you? Yes. Oh yes, I am. We'll yes, talk am. about this more on Rumble. We'll, I'm we'll interested. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. I am not in favor. Yeah. But we will have this debate on Rumble immediately after. So that means if you are not, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're still gonna do the show. It's just you present your argument. I'll present yeah, my argument. Yeah, absolutely. So. For, on Rumble though. On yeah. Rumble though, guys. So. <laughs> we can't do that. That here. will be good. So, all right. Let's see if there's any question from you guys. Um, then, yeah. then, uh, then we're just gonna jump in about five minutes or so on the other location. And by the way, guys, I take this opportunity to say thank you for keeping the conversation civil. Truly, really, truly appreciate yeah. it. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. We will greatly appreciate it. And uh, just share the video with others. That's the only way. Yeah. So we yeah, really, absolutely. Yeah, please, guys, just make sure you share the our videos with others. We greatly appreciate it. That's how the algorithm works. And, so um, and we have a locals. Yes, locals. Now, some of you might not know. We do appear on locals on a weekly basis. And uh, one of the conversations I believe we're going to have this week in locals has to do also with how chaotic our domestic policy is here. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to have to touch on American issues here, but we're going to have to provide you some insights. Uh, this goes beyond the headlines on mainstream or corporate media and all that stuff. So you all know that by, by now, but we'll provide you our own perspective. And this is nothing but a perspective mm -hmm. you are entitled to agree with disagree with, reject, or what have you. So we always welcome your feedback and so forth. So. Well, and I love our locals because you guys can also post things on our locals. Yeah, but, but I have a problem with that. Locals asking them to pay for the question. Well, but here's the thing. I don't get we it. We don't have... We, we don't, don't control we don't that one, guys. Control that. We don't. But what I can say is we very much appreciate the supporters that we do have. And so I oh, think... Oh, we're grateful. Try, yeah. It's so just think, at the same time for just questions. Open it to everybody. I don't know. That's not it's the locals. <laughs> it's, it's not locals. us. It's not it's just us. we want you guys to know. But we are very grateful, guys. Yes, thank and you. And if you want to support us through locals, mm -hmm. not through here. My advice, not through here. If you want to support us, support us on the locals. 
Well, or support our the the sponsors that we have because if you guys yes. go to the sponsors that we have, if you guys go to their website, they can see that you know that we do that have. We, a, you know, and as you all know, valuable. guys, as you all know, it's just us. Yeah, we don't have like backers with serious amount of money. So this yep. is just us. Yeah. Um, okay, let me say thank you to um, Samir Anata Ana Ana Batawi. Sorry, I oh Ana Batawi. Yes. Samir, thank you very much, Samir. Did you know Samir is an Arabic name? Yes, I did. I have I have a couple of Samir friends. It's Samir and Samira. Yeah. Samira for female. Samir is a beautiful Sam name. I Samir, think it's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful it's name. It's a nice, nice name. And then Th Rebbe Lee. So thank you. Thank you oh, too. here it is. Thank you, Rebbe. Rebbe. Rebbe, thank you so much, man. Truly really appreciate it. And Rebbe's on our locals too. Well, once again, it was Rebbe that bought five membership yeah. for. I found out about that later on. Thank you yeah. so much. We're well, really so generous of you, man. Um, okay, let's let's get, take a few questions and we'll go. Um Poseidon question. Will Turkey engage if Iraq and Syria are attacked? Love from Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, engage on behalf of whom? Yeah. Yeah, Turkey will engage, but Turkey ain't gonna engage if it doesn't serve its own strategic interest, which is the right thing to do. Now, the different story is. There is a conversation out there suggesting that the possibility of Turkey sending its forces to Gaza. Mm -hmm. I don't know how accurate that uh, will yeah, be. I don't, I don't see that, that happening. Uh, uh, because Turkey is one of those odd uh, members of NATO, mm -hmm. is odd in every aspect. Turkey, Turkey has to balance out between the two opposite uh, ends. And, and it's always when you do that, that puts you under the microscope, geopolitically speaking, for becoming which side of the fence are you on? Mm. So that's why I don't see Turkey. Uh, Turkey will. Yeah, I don't see anything Turkey will do. OK, let me share this. This um, Glogan Universal is who who got this quote for me. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. From G. Michael Hoff. Wow! Thank you so much yeah, for sharing thank you this. For that. And it is truly a reflection of what's going on here. Yeah. I mean, you look at literally the state of our military. As a former military, I shake my head. Well, and the military itself. We'll, we'll maybe we'll, also we'll talk, talk about that on we'll Rumble. Talk. But ultimately, you know, if you if you have someone who has never had a hard time, they don't have any real understanding, no sympathizing with people who have, and yeah. so end up creating it cyclically. It's very interesting. If you guys are interested in human behavior, I have a YouTube channel. Also, if you just search my name, Elizabeth Ann Stewart, uh, it it should come up. Um, but it's all the repetition, the cycles of human behavior. So, all right. Oh no! See. Oh no! Let me let me let me answer this one here quickly. Okay. Now, this individual. First of all, you are not from Texas. You're just lying because you are not a Texan, and I know, and I know who you are. So, you need to stop this nonsense. Okay, I'm gonna say it straightforward. No, you're welcome to express your opinion. The reason why I don't respond to yours is because your questions don't make any sense. So I don't waste my time. Straightforward. And I'm going to give you a chance. You either get it together or I'm going to just kick you out because our community deserves better. Straightforward. And please stop lying that you are from Texas. You're not. Anyway. <laughs> Well, so, we are very big on respectful comments and yeah. respectful conversation here because you can say whatever it is that you really genuinely think or feel, but respect is very important in any community. Anyway, so all right, you want to do one more, one question? more, one more question. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, how about this? Um, Ember Spirit, how long is is it going to take Iranian proxies to start drone attacks on LNG tankers? No, they won't go that route right away. That's 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 last resort. That's la last resort. Because mm -hmm. remember, in any escalation or any tensions, or whatever, you go in phases, in stages. That's how it goes. For now, you start to notice, mm -hmm. to notice the escalation gradually, not exponentially, gradually for started in Iraq, moved into Syria. Now in the, the border between Jordan and, and Syria, so you, you're going to see it that way. It's going to move quickly, because uh, not quickly, gradually. 
Why? Because the entities that conducting this wants to see what the reaction is going to be. Because will now the attacks that once you start seeing, here is one thing about American domestic politics. Once you start seeing body bags mm -hmm. coming in here to Dover uh, 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 Air Force Base in, in Maryland, and the president, the incompetent president will have to go. Mm -hmm. And you, once you start seeing the images of that, American people tend to change their minds about all this. So the question becomes now is whether the U.S. now is seeing what is coming. And start to maybe we're gonna need to reduce our presence or stay yeah. under the radar. You can't stay under the radar because, to me, this message, this uh, this attack is a message that we will yeah. reach you no matter what. So, yeah. so uh, the retaliation for the LNG, those are the last the last resource. Now, where that's gonna be happening quickly is if country like Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. like United Arab Emirates, join with the U.S., which will yeah. be shame on them if they do. Uh, on the other hand, I don't trust any of the Arab countries. So that's that's the way I see it. If that happens, uh, but again, uh, you, you, you have to think about the long-term impacts of something like this. Yeah. Any any disruption to the flow of oil or natural gas yeah. will impact the global economy one way or another. So. All right. All right, guys. Well, we will people. see you on the next location. And remember, just keep your questions. Huh? Why not? Bring your questions with you to the mm -hmm. Rumble. And we will see you there. All right, guys, as always, prepare yourself for changing world order. Till next time, bye-bye.